Welcome kindred spirits, I am Rovate Gaming. Today I'll present a mod showcase for an epic arc mod Stargate Evolution, a Stargate mod created by fans for fans. The mod team is Exodus Games, the lead developer is Drake BD. As the community and discord manager I will answer any questions you have in the comments as we explore the current content of this mod. So let's get right into it. First we have the first few crafting stations. We have some lights and some generators. Uh, the first thing is the Lantean crafting table. We have the we have brazers. We have the Jafab brazer. We have the Gualud brazer. The normal brazer and the Ori brazer. We have the Lantean fabricator. And we have the Stargate crafting station have some lights for decoration. We have the Lantean wall light. We have the Lantean triangle light and we have the Lantean standing light. We have some ring ramps. We have the alpha ring ramp. We have the beta ring ramp and we have the omega ring ramp. We have a resource called Advanced Electronics, Zero Point Energy, Naquita Ingot, Liquid Naquita, and Gold Ingots. We have about 12 or so uh, gate ramps. We have Gold Ramp. We have the Front Incarus Ramp. We have the Incarus Ramp, the Ancient Ramp, Jaffa Ramp, the Arcadia Ramp, the Small Stone Ramp, the SGC Ramp the stone ramp and the SGU ramp. We also have a few reactors. We have the Naquita Reactor Mark 1, the Naquita Reactor Mark 2, we have the Lantean ZPM hub. Here's the brazers. We have the normal brazer, we have the Ori brazer, the Jaffa brazer, and the Guauld brazer. So it lights up like a normal torture brazer. They are super efficient and will even use charcoal for the fuel. Then we move on to the reactors. We have the Naquita Reactor Mark 1, which has about a six foundation range that powers absolutely everything within it. This is the Stargate Crafting Station with its fancy animation. In artifacts, we have the ZPM, which is used to power the ZPM hub and the Stargates. We have the Guald rings and the Ori rings. We have the Pegasus gate. We have the Atlantis iris and the SGC iris. And we have the Pegasus DHD. We also have the PDA, which is a remote control for your Stargates without needing a DHD. The first light we have is the Lantean wall light. The second one is the Lantean standing light. And the third one is the Lantean triangle light. The reactors power everything, including uh, base game and tech. So as you can see, the tech light goes on and off. Then we move on to the Naquita Reactor Mark II, which is basically double the range of Mark I and better fuel efficiency. And then lastly, we have the Lantean ZPM Hub, which is larger than a tech generator's range. It reaches further than a normal tech generator. And then we go on to the Lantean Fabricator. This is where you make all the resources for the mod. So the Naquita ingot and the gold ingot will auto craft. The liquid Naquita will not, but it needs Naquita ingots. And the zero point energy uh, needs gold ingots and liquid Naquita. Gold ore is obtained from metal nodes and Naquita ore from obsidian nodes. 
And then we have a advanced electronics. This is also going to be used in a lot of the advanced high-tech uh, structures such as rings and gates. Here we have the alpha ring ramp. Then we have the beta ring ramp and the gold rings. Rings teleport you over short distances and here we have the omega ring ramp. You can turn the omega ring ramp on and off like a lamp post. We move on to showing the ori rings. The Aura Rings and the Gold Rings are cross compatible so they can use each other to travel. If you have the rings unlocked and named, they'll reach further with others in between. If you lock the ring, it will not function to send. It will receive but not send. So as you can see, it's not sending me to the other rings. Now if you have it unlocked and you name it, it will take you further if there are rings in the middle, in between them. So it's cross compatible and it also has an extra couple of tricks to it. Here's the gold rings. Uh, the rings have a default range of about 60 foundations. That's the animation for the Ori rings. Now we move on to gate ramps. Uh, this is the small stone ramp. This is the stone ramp. This is the SGU ramp, which can be turned on and off as well. And this is the SGC ramp. which when it's flicked on correctly, it will have a smoke animation. This is the gold ramp. This is the Jaffa ramp. The ancient ramp. The Arcadia ramp. Half of the ramps need Nakwood ingots, half of them don't. This is the Incarus front ramp. The Incarus ramp, which can also be powered on and off. Now I move on to how the gates function. Uh, the, you have the gate energy and you have the ZPM energy. Gate energy is just the gates energy itself, which will recharge over time. The ZPM energy will not. Uh, when gate energy is below 5, the ZPM energy will start being used. You have toggle fast style and toggle iris and toggle public name. Uh, toggle fast style makes it dial 5 times faster. Toggle public name will make the gate show up in the public list on the right side. You, make sh you have to make sure to name your gate, otherwise it will not show up in the list. And you name the gate in the middle of the menu. You can toggle the iris, it will open and close the iris. And you can dial the gate with fast dial enabled. The dialing a gate takes about five seconds or so, or less. So gate energy was used, ZPM, ZPM energy was not. You can also toggle the connected gate iris this helps if you're trying to dial home and your gates your gate iris is closed and you need to open it that's what the sgc iris looks like this is what the sga iris looks like the the atlantis iris Note that incoming wormholes do not use the energy, only outgoing wormholes. You can also switch the dialing menu from the ancient's 
uh, symbols to alphanumeric of English. The items in progress are SG-1, SGU gates and DHCs, and Orleans mini gate. There will also be both versions of ancient drones and new ammo types. All other ammo types will have three variants with different effects, green, blue, and red. Most ammo follows the structure green is to pour, blue is stun freeze, and red does HP damage. The ammo that doesn't is life energy, which will increase healing done. In the future, plasma charges will be for Jaffa staffs, etc., and particle bullets for the Magnum pistol, etc. Confirmed items are Tolana Gate, Supergate, and DHD, Atlantis DHD, and the Puddle Jumper. We hope to make the Puddle Jumper airtight, submersible, cloak, half shields, open and close drive pods, and fire drones that'll act as homing missiles. It should be of note that all Patreon supporters get early spoilers on the projects in the mod. To follow the mod, check out the Steam Workshop. While you're there, favorite, upvote, and share. If you want to help the mod grow, check out Exodus Games Discord or donate to their Patreon or PayPal. All links will be in the description below.